FreedomMunitions.com presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This is danger zone. Who was the big bear? A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. This equipment is absolutely, it's just over the top incredible, especially if you want to hunt at nighttime. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Keith Warren, and on today's high road, it's gonna be a little bit different than most episodes we do. We're gonna start off by showing you some incredible footage that we're getting using the Armacite equipment. And we're gonna wind up in Wyoming, where we go on a hell of a hunt. Now let's start with the uh, night vision stuff. Now the night vision equipment by Armacite is exactly that. It is night vision, and it operates in total darkness. And as you can see from the video, boy, you can get a lot of good detail of the animals. Now primarily, on the upcoming shows, we're gonna be using night vision equipment by Armacite. And this night vision equipment allows us to get so close to hogs that it truly is incredible. I mean, you can hear them and you can see them in detail doing what hogs do best, tearing stuff up. And it seems like nighttime is the time, well, it's the best time to hunt hogs. I mean, hogs are heavily pressured now during the daytime. So the nighttime is really where we take it to the next level and we even the score with the hogs. Now, night vision equipment is absolutely wonderful, but when you want to take it to the next level, you got to go with the thermal. This is the Zeus Pro by Armacite. It's on top of my hog hunting rifle and I'll be using it tonight. I'm actually in the process of sighting it in. Night hunting, you can use either night vision or thermal or a combination of both. And when you use the thermal, it takes it to a different level altogether. Out of the Zeus Pro, it has a video output. You can actually see what I'm looking through through the scope itself. It's recording it. You can see the crosshairs. You can see all the heat coming off these animals. And the cool thing that I like about thermal is it'll show everything down from a rabbit to a field mouse all the way up to, to a hog or even bigger animals. But the one drawback to thermal is that it doesn't show the detail as, say, the night vision would. Now, night vision, you can take a look at night vision, you can see the difference in color of the animals. You can see one's a little bit lighter than the others. And so when you're hunting with night vision, it's pretty easy to see detail. But when you're hunting with thermal vision, I mean, all of them look the same, it's just some are bigger than others. So I like using both. Uh, through the course of this past season, we have used Armacite equipment and I don't know how many hogs we've taken out and predators, but it is an unbelievable tool to be able to take hunting to a different level. And, and for example, they make units like this. This is a clip-on unit. It goes right on the front of any ordinary rifle scope. It just clips right onto the bell of a rifle scope and it will take that normal daytime hunting rifle scope and turn it into a nighttime machine. And so I would never go to the field without this in my backpack because I know if I'm gonna be hunting in an area where there's predators or whether there's hogs coming out at night that I wanna stay a little bit extra after dark to hunt, well, that clip-on by Armacite allows me to do just that. We've got some great shows coming up using the Armacite equipment. And that uh, gives you an idea of what you're gonna see. But coming up, we're heading to Wyoming and we're gonna go on a hell of a hunt. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Burt Coyote's Luminoc, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Ion Cameras, Tannerite, and 
Blood Sport. Today the high road comes to you from just outside of Douglas, Wyoming. We're up here on an antelope hunt, but it's not just any ordinary antelope hunt. You see, the people on this hunt are special, really special, and the people that put it on are special as well. Today, we're gonna take you to the annual Hell of a Hunt. It's the 30th anniversary of an event that's been changing people's lives. Hell of a Hunt uh, is a 501c3 organization that was set up in 1985 for the specific reason of reaching uh, people with disabilities that had given up hunting. Over the year from 1984 to 1985, we went through a planning process of not really knowing what to expect or how to do it, but just knew, knowing it was the right thing to do to try to reach people that had given up, to get back into the sport. So the Hell of a Hunt could teach them how to go back to their own home, whatever state they, they may be in, and uh, grab a friend, say this is how we did it in Wyoming, and we can do this here. I'm a big believer in life, attitude is everything, and I look at these guys and I think their attitude is unbelievable, it's admirable. I mean, you take a look, and I think I'm a pretty strong individual, and, and, but I don't know if I could uh, do what they do. I mean, I don't know if I could live life and, and, and have a joyful, good, happy attitude the way these people do. These people, I mean, hey, they, some of them are really, really severely handicapped, but they still manage to get it done. There's a smile on the face, and, and to me, it inspires me. It makes me feel that, you know what? They're really, they may be handicapped, but they're not as handicapped as me because they're stronger than me. Hi, my name is Ron Coburn. And this is my 15th year as a guide for the Hell of a Hunt. And I come out here every year because it's an opportunity to give back. I spent most of my career in the firearms industry, and uh, this is one way where I can give back to somebody who needs help. And uh, it's something I enjoy. It's a camaraderie, friendship, of course. Each year, the Hell of a Hunt Committee, they handle up to 15 hunters, and they come from all walks of life. So we meet all kinds of people, had all kinds of injuries and accidents. But whatever it is, it's our job as guides to get them into the field, expose them as much as possible to the process of hunting, and then they will actually pull that trigger. That's the important distinction in this particular group is the hunter's actually hunting and they're in charge and they will make the harvest. You know, we go to the gun range and I, and I want to take a look at each and every one of these guys and I want to see how they're shooting. I mean, some of them are in a chair, some of them aren't in a chair, some of them are uh, visually handicapped, some of them can't move their fingers. I mean, uh, everybody's got a different way to get the job done. I think that's what's so cool about it, you know. I mean, on the show a lot of times you hear me saying, talk to your finger, talk to your finger, we got to do all this stuff to do it just right. But you know what, there's more ways than one to do it right. And for these people, I mean, whether they're using a, a, a device, that they use their, their iPhone, and, the, and it's the iScope, for example, to be able to get on target. That kid is deadly because of this device, and that's what he uses. Another guy, I mean, he's got a device that he puts in his mouth. Michael, he's from California, he puts it in his mouth, 
and he squeezes the trigger that way. Uh, watch them where they can't use their limbs. I mean, it, it makes a guy like me, it, it sobers me up by watching these guys and realizing, you know what, they shoot, they hit the target, they have fun, and that's what it's all about. It's about having fun. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, the titanium vacuum sealer, supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, BSA Optics, Camo Adult Precision Air Rifles, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, and Grave Digger Broadheads. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite brand binary exploding rifle targets presents viewer feedback. All right, this one is from Michael Rove. He says, Keith, what do you think the biggest threat to the future of hunting is? Anti-hunters or hunters themselves? Michael, there's no question. I think the biggest threat to the future of hunting, unfortunately, is hunters themselves. And what I mean by that, if you're sitting here watching this show today, think about that. Animal rights people, I mean, come on. Do they really have any science behind them? Do they really have anything other than just just kind of the way they feel as an agenda to stop hunting, that, that they don't have anything else. But hunters, we've got so much behind us. I mean, we've got science behind us. We've got uh, conservation and habitat. We've got so many good things behind us, but I think hunters are so busy fighting amongst themselves. It's like, my way is the best way. And, and, and complaining about, and it's jealousy from this guy hunts and kills too big of stuff to this guy right here shoots it in a, in a high fence area, stop arguing. Like, Michael, it's got to be hunters that are the biggest problem to the future of hunting. My name's Jake French. I'm from Beaverton, Oregon. I'm 29 and six years ago I broke my neck in a freak accident leaving me a quadriplegic. Hunting has always been at the core of, of everything I'm about. That obviously changed six years ago when I broke my neck. And it's been one of the things that's brought me out of my shell and made me feel normal again. It's a huge challenge learning to do it with this body, but it's even more rewarding today. Challenges. Everybody's got challenges, but let me tell you something. When you go to the field with these guys and you try to do it with a video camera, you really realize how challenging it is. And, and, and I think it's not just challenging for me. I mean, heck, with a video camera, I mean, we're able to shoot a wide screen. But with these hunters, I mean, they've got to get that antelope perfect in their sights. And I mean, it's hard to do. So we've got to get the truck position right. The wind's got to be right. The animal's got to be turned right. Everything's got to be just right. But you know what? in spite of all of it. You think all the frustration you go through, you take a look at their faces and you know what you're gonna see? A smile. As a quadriplegic, I don't have very good use of my hands, so shooting is a big challenge. I had a custom rifle made for me a few years ago off of Savage Action, and it's a big, heavy 300 wind mag. <laughs> Weighs 15 pounds, but with that muzzle brake, it is like a 243. I love it. I rest it on the side of the window. I use this hand to hold the buttstock, and I use my other hand to go through the trigger guard and pull it back with just my knuckle. This hell of a hunt is my first experience antelope hunting, and I am pumped. Yeah. Uh. 
Nice shot. Get him. I've always wanted to go antelope hunting. Being from Oregon, that's a pretty hard reality to make happen. But thanks to Hell of a Hunt, I was able to come out here in Wyoming, uh, go after a bunch of different antelope, and we finally made it happen. It was so cool. Being a disabled person, there's a lot of things on my list that I can't do. But from the minute we got off the plane, I haven't even thought about that list. There's a whole bunch of people that are helping us redefine what we can do. And on this particular hunt, my mom Margaret was able to come with us, which was an added bonus because she got to experience my first time harvesting an antelope. Hey, I'm Jake French from Beaverton, Oregon, and this has been one hell of a hunt. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Walls Outdoor Goods, Liberty Safe, Oil Field Camo, Savage Arms, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Vortex Range Finders, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Castle Rock Outfitters, and Gerber. For the most part, I think that hunters can have such a bad rap out there in the general public. Hunters are, are a generous, giving, loving bunch of individuals, and take a look at these people here. Uh, they don't have to do this. Uh, the people that put this event on have got giant hearts and they're compassionate. They want to do the right thing for mankind. Uh, they're volunteers. Nobody gets paid a dime. They generate their own funds, and, and they don't ask for a handout from any corporation. You'll notice as you, you go to the auction, there's not, a, there's not a big banner up there brought to you by so-and-so. They don't want that. When we first started, we had a lot of opportunity to have corporate sponsoring. And here in Wyoming, we're pretty independent and, and don't like being told what to do. So we decided we're going to raise our own funds, because if anybody comes here with a personal agenda, other than making the hunt the best they can for these hunters. We don't need them. These people there that are putting this on for the hell of a hunt, it is an investment of time, talent, or treasure. Just like with any charitable organization, and I'm just proud to be here. And that's why it's been such a success for so many years. With everyone in our organization has one heart and soul in mind, and that is to make the hunt the best they can for the hunters they have that year. We have a lot of country to cover here uh, in Wyoming it's when we go out on an animal hunt. It's not like sitting in a blind uh, just waiting for an animal to come by. We sometimes cover 10 to 20, 30 miles a day just trying to find the antelope and get close enough to, to make sure that that's the right antelope we want for our hunter. I'm Drew Landis. Uh, my son is Brandon. He's 16. He was. Uh, Struck with a virus when he was 10. Uh, been suffering with what's called dystonia. Um, and through with this group called Hell of a Hunt, we've had the blessing to get to know some people with just an amazing heart. Hunting has become something that Brandon has been able to embrace. Um, it's something that he can get away from the city and the rigmarole and the rough life that he has. And get outside and enjoy the weather, enjoy nature, um, and get to meet some people that enjoy the same thing.
Brandon, you did a great job. Mm. We are more than blessed to have you hunting with us. Mm. And we yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. We don't hunt for ourselves on this, we hunt for you. To see the smile on, on the hunter's faces, the ones that have never gotten an animal, hunted big game in their life, or never thought they would have the opportunity to, and then to uh, see them after their successful hunt, and it raises their level of personal pride to a point that, you know, they can conquer the world. No matter who you are, when it all comes down to it, we're all challenged one way or another. Some challenges may not be as obvious to others as the challenges that these hunters have, but they're still challenges that we all must deal with. These special hunters that came this year to participate in the 30th annual Hell of a Hunt have all come away not only with their antelope, but they came away with memories that'll last them a lifetime. For me, what I take away from a hunt like this is invaluable. Each time I'm with special folks like these, I learn things that hopefully make me a better person. At times, all of us, no matter who we are and what our limitations are, we experience some pretty big challenges in life. But what these special hunters and their families have taught me is to face the challenges and deal with them in a positive manner. They've taught me that the important thing to remember is it's all about having a positive attitude even when things don't turn out as planned and to make the most out of every day that we have. Hunting is a way that we become more connected with nature, but it's also a way that helps us deal with the realities we all face in our lives. There's so much more to hunting than just killing an animal. For me and the millions of hunters around the world, we know that it's all about the joy of the hunt.